And then the last one is focus on having humility in learning. This one, you know, a lot of teachers I've connected with over the years, they're like, what? I don't, I don't have anything to say. I don't want to write a blog. I don't want to start a podcast. I don't want to do this. Like, what do I have to say? And there is a really great uh, video. It's from Derek Sivers. And it, I think that's how I say his name. And it's called Obvious to You, Amazing to Others. And in the video, he talks about what is actually just something that you're so conditioned to, something that just is so normal to you, is mind-blowing to other people. So that's why you should actually share. Because what you see as your everyday common practice, someone doesn't even really think about it. And so to embrace this, never write from the viewpoint that you're the expert. Because when you do that, you are totally up for massive criticism, right? If you're like, well, I'm the expert on this. I know this better than anyone else. As soon as you do that, you're a target. So what I've tried to do is I just share insights from my learning. I'm not, I don't tell anyone how to do their job. Even when I speak, I, I get to keynote to teachers, administrators, all the world. And one of the things I say all the time, look, I'm not the expert here. The expert's sitting beside you. I'm just here sharing some ideas, sharing some of my learning. At the end of the day, you have to figure out the solutions. And I remember my good friend, Mike Kleba, he said, when you said that, it really struck a chord with me because a lot of times someone goes up there and they're like, well, I'm the expert. I'm the person who knows this. I have all of these accolades that back up why you should be listening to me. Whereas I'm like, hey, I'm just sharing my learning. And the thing is, there's, a, there's humility in that because and it can't be just a thing you say, by the way. Like that's a really important aspect, right? Don't come off humble, but actually be super arrogant. I always go into a place that, you know, I'm sharing my learning, but I'm always open to changing my ideas, changing my thinking. And one of the things I always encourage people when we have like Q and A's, have conversations, I'm like, challenge me on some of the stuff I said, because I don't know if I'm right, but I'm trying to figure stuff out. And I think that we are so worried about being criticized, but if you are in a space where you're constantly bragging, constantly just being self-promotional, yeah, you're, then criticism should come your way. But I think it's a lot less intimidating for yourself and honestly for others when you're like, look, I'm just sharing some learning. Uh, some of my most controversial blog posts I've ever written, I say to people, look, I'm just writing this to actually figure out my learning, not to kind of tell people how to do their job because I'm just kind of writing to get my ideas down. So having that humility and just seeing as everything is, hey, I'm not, I'm not telling you how to do your job. I'm just sharing some of my learning and you take it for what it's worth. You use it however you want. It puts a lot less pressure and it makes you more open to, to growth. But it also, you know, I think it's a really great thing to model to people, especially in the, the field of education. Are you willing to share your learning with others? <laughs> <laughs>